We it's it's a good bracket. I didn't get to see it all, and I haven't really studied it. But you know, you kind of wanted to know who those four were with us. But when you look at all four brackets, the West, you know, maybe a little lighter than the others, but but not more were with us. But it's or uh, is West Arizona and those guys? Yeah. It's pretty. It was pretty. It was pretty hard. That one's hard. What was the other one? Well, I don't know. They're all pretty. There. It was. It was. But again, I. My concern right now is just making sure we're in a great frame of mind, and this team right now is. Um, we uh, will take tomorrow completely off from basketball. We may watch some tape later tomorrow night, and that tape is going to be our Arkansas game. And we'll just have, and it won't even be with me, it'll be with the staff. Let those guys go over the tape with them. We'll come back Tuesday practice. We probably won't leave until Wednesday to um, go to uh, Louisville. How much does it help just to be close to home and kind of get a little bit extra rest, even though you played on the Sunday and you played it, it, It's helpful. I mean, if we had to go west and leave like tomorrow, that's a tough deal. You know, if you can take a day off, practice, and then not have to travel till Wednesday, that's that's a big plus for us. And you know, you're talking an hour and 15 minutes down the road, so. I kind of overheard you talking when they made the announcement that Manhattan and Hampton said it's a tough matchup. Yeah, Manhattan's good. Well, I watched them play um, uh, Steve's team. Um, uh, which game did I watch? Uh, maybe the, the, the championship game. Uh, I watched some of that, and I thought they were they play hard, they pick up, they're aggressive, they're not going to back away, they're not going to be afraid. Uh, Steve's done a great job with that team, and they struggled early. So what's happened is they're at their best right now, and that's but they got to beat Hampton. So that's the greatest thing about this tournament. And and I've coached a bunch of teams in here, and any time you get ahead of yourself, you you hurt yourself. And usually it's wasted time because the team you think is going to advance loses. They didn't even win. So why were you spending any time? So the best thing you can do is stay in your own little pocket of those teams that we have to play. And uh, the eight and nine in our region, the team we got to get the first game. If you're lucky enough to get that, you get that winner of the eight nine. Just worry about those two games. Now, Steve said you felt him a he and I have always been good because I think he's he's crazy like I am, and I've seen some stuff and he and I and I tease him all the time. But I think he's a terrific coach. He's a great recruiter, gets after it, um, coaches his kids, not afraid to coach his kids. Um, the stuff that happened here, you know, I reached out to him and I I called our people and let's help him make this right. And uh, shoot, I even told him, hell, you can stay there if you need to be on campus, stay in the back. I'm fine with that. But, you know, he got done what he had to get done. And um, uh, I was really proud of our school that there was no, everybody just said, how do we help this? Um, and he, I'll tell you, it's a great, it's a great story. Um, you know, he's bounced back and uh, took all responsibility. I got, I had to do this. And so I'm happy for him. Coach, I know you've been doing it for years, but how did it come about to invite us to your house on Selection Sunday? Well, no one stole the students' transcripts, so I had to leave them out. So, um, but, uh, I mean, I, I've just always done it. We've always invited media and the players and, you know, um, let you guys see these guys and, and be a part of this with us. What was, what was going through? I mean, again, there was no celebration. There was no, I mean, they, they enjoyed this? Or are they still in that business-like... We got a job to do. Let's keep you mean here? Yeah. I wasn't in here. I didn't see it. I Look, we all knew we were going to be the 1-1. I mean, there was no surprise. I think they were trying to figure out who's going to be the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Who is it? West Virginia. Let me just tell you something. West Virginia probably got more out of their team, Bobby Huggins, than any team in the country. And here they are, you know, you win a couple games and you may be facing them. And, and we know now they beat us in 10. We beat them pretty good in 11. It's like always a good game, and they're in there. So I think these guys just wanted to see, like, who is, who, who is in there.
surprised at all they didn't make Wisconsin year two after all that talk for the last three or four I, I didn't think they could. I mean, how could you do it and then, I mean, you had to get in front of cameras and explain yourself. In this era of social media and transparency, you couldn't go in there and say Kentucky is going to play Wisconsin in the in a regional final. You couldn't do it. And I, I didn't think they'd do it. I just said there's no way unless they're ready to take the grief that's going to follow it. I mean, you're talking about Wisconsin and is playing good. There are a lot of teams. I mean, Arizona is playing out of their minds right now. I mean, I, I think Villanova is playing great. Virginia, they're a little bit beat up, but they're still, I mean, you got eight teams from that eight, in my opinion, someone's going to win the thing out of those eight. I don't think after that there's some teams that have a chance to advance and do some stuff, but I just don't think those eight teams, they're really good, those eight. And it's not just us. I mean, there's no everybody talking like, hey, you can – let me just tell you, it's a one-game shot, foul trouble, struggle, injury, have a bad game, someone else play out of their minds, which we've seen happen against us. Kid from Texas A&M get 40. Um, we've seen it. Like, oh, my gosh, who is this guy? And so it's not the best of five. It's one and done. I'm telling you that my message will be and have, will not change. Let's be the best version of each individual player. Let's be at our best. If that's not good enough, I'll live with the consequence. I'll live with it. And I told them, you'll have to live with it. It's not, okay, nine out of ten, they'd have beat them. Yeah, but we didn't beat them that time. I'll live with it. I already lived with one in 2008. I did fine. I'm not, you know, I have, look, I didn't slip my wrist. I was good. Quiet. We were all tired. Three games in three days. Noon starts. No shoot around. Get up early. You know, I've been waking up at like five and then going back to sleep. And so, I mean, it was, we were all tired. We all got on the plane and I don't think there was two words spoken. Yeah, I was I was good whatever they did. I, I you know I have the in my opinion best team and the best players. Now it doesn't mean you win. This isn't best of five, best of seven. It's one game. But as long as we're at our best, that's the that's the most we can ask of these kids. I'll be fine. John, before the SEC tournament, Willie really said. Some of the guys in this team their minds are right, including Willie. But he said it would be by SEC tournament time. Do you think their minds are right now? Today showed a lot because that game was so physical. I watched the tape on the plane back. And it just, there was, there was, I mean, that was a physical game that we withstood. And um, I thought we played strong. We played in balance. Um, we had a couple. Three turnovers that were no reason for them. Three. So when you start talking about, again, a 10 turnover game against a team like that, it's pretty good. So I, I think Willie made the best statement. They said, how'd you get yourself going offensively? Well, coach put me on that guard, the Harrell kid, Harrell, 6'3 guard. Willie had to get in a stance, had to stay, he had to play like a guard. He said it mo made my motor go, I played with more energy, and it helped me on offense. I told the team what he said. I didn't say it, Willie said it. And I told all of them, I, if you think in those terms, I'm gonna get myself going defensively, and the offense will happen, you'll see this thing, are you ready? Go to another level. But that's hard because doing what Willie said, you have to be on point, you have to have high energy, you have to be really focused, you have to be in, a, in an attack mode, and it's hard. They're not robots. They're not machines. It just doesn't happen all the time. No, I was I, I was happy. I was hoping Texas A&M would back their way in. You know, it's tough because Texas A&M's issue was the house kid went down. If house doesn't get down, he, they're playing us, and they could have beat us. They, they had us double overtime. Um, so it's unfortunate injuries play a part of this, but... A few more guys. The, the travel, but the play in the gym for the first couple of rounds that you've played in before this year, does that help you guys out at all? I don't think so. I mean, I you know, I, I'll, I'll be anxious to see how many blue jerseys are in there.
I mean, they found their way in. I mean, this tournament here was, that was crazy. I mean, there were 97% Kentucky fans in that building. What? what? And they said 10,000 came to the opening games because they couldn't get tickets to our games. So they just bought tickets and went to the opening games to be a part of the thing, which is great for the SEC and our fans. But I, I say it again, it's like, woo. But I would expect we'll have a pretty good crowd. But let me just tell you something. Those other teams will have their allotment of tickets, and they will be there. Now, now that you have to go undefeated to win the whole thing, do you talk about the history of this at all? Or is it no, it doesn't. It has no bearing. Willie said it best. Everybody's zero at zero. So there's no team that has a record now, us included. You have teams that are 12 and 10 or 20 and 10 that could win the whole thing. 22 and 10, and they finished 28 and 10, win the national title. What was Connecticut's record last year? I think it was 20, 28 and 10. I think it was 28 and 10. What was our record going in? I mean, you know, we ended up getting in the tournament and bam, bam, bam. You, that It doesn't matter. We had nine losses, I think, going in. It doesn't matter. Everybody is 0 0, and including us, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about it now. We're all the same. Last question. Does that help you guys a little bit? Because your players have had to deal with the pressure of the whatever and oh, and now everybody's got to deal with that same issue. I've said it. Now everybody has the same issues. You lose, you go home. See, to play us before, you live for another day. No, now you're strapped up to the chair. Okay, you lose this, you're done. And it's like, okay, we're all in the same boat. Now how do you play? We have been in these dogfights. But it doesn't matter, all that aside, one game, one day, you got to play. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Gail. We have players in the driveway.